All right, it is sunset at Avalon. Um, we are chilling. We just got back to the boat, and Alana noticed actually when we were walking back that our neighbor real close is very close to us. Getting very neighborly. Yeah, they're a little. <laughs> I don't think they're maintaining six feet of social distancing. I think there's about four feet between our boats right now. Uh, they're a little loose on their lines and we have a crosswind and that's kind of pushing them into us so we did a I put out some fenders just in case but i think we'll be okay the wind will probably die down i agree i think this is about as hard as the wind's gonna blow thought about putting the boom all the way out <laughs> and all, javelin them off <laughs> keep them out but yeah uh it's really fun alana what do you think of avalon it's your first time here it's a jewel it's amazing it reminded me of a little bit Hawaii, a little bit the Caribbean, a little bit Bermuda. It's all just coming together and uh, this is a great place and I can't believe it's just right yeah. here, 45 minutes by Yeah, I'm ferry. really glad <laughs> that wild. we decided to come down to Avalon, not just Catalina. Yeah. Yeah, we've been talking about doing Catalina, but coming to Avalon just because it's so different from where we normally sail and what our normal <laughs> cruising is. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it made it kind of feel like a little bit more of a vacation, even though it's a little strange with all the COVID measures and stuff now. Um, but well, we also never go anywhere with people. Like all of yeah. our island trips are always to like deserted little back ends of nowhere with like two other fishing boats. And if it's people you want, <laughs> it's people we have here well, in Avalon. Teenagers Avalon's. having a dance party there playing their like techno music yeah there's some disco rave boats disco rave yeah we ended up uh just eating out on avalon instead of cooking again tonight throw some dollars at avalon i'm sure they're hit pretty hard and then save us some effort tonight and no dishes helps us get the boat ready to go yeah we've been going pretty hard the last three days um hanging with james and camille and we have a long sail home tomorrow, yeah. so. Eating out helps us get an earlier start. Yeah, early, early night tonight. We'll probably go to bed soon after it gets dark, which is pretty Coming rare for us. Um, yeah, and then we'll, we'll see you at first light when we start sailing home. Avalon, um, probably 6.45 or so. Looks like there's a whole bunch of cloud, fog, low going to the water from the east. It looks a little clearer where we're going. So hopefully we can stay ahead of that and have good visibility today. And there's actually looking like um, from now until uh, 10 or so, there should be a little bit of wind maybe helping us go in the right direction this morning. So it'll be nice to get some of that. But thank you, Avalon. Awesome little stay, getting off the mooring was pretty easy. Although it is so tight in there, especially because some of the mooring balls seem to be a little out of line. Yeah. And then every one that is out of line is also the one that has a, ton of crap behind a guy with a huge dinghy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> laid out behind him. Or the mats or the flamingo floaties. Yeah, so we had to get through a little aisle uh, that was like 13 feet wide, basically the whole beam of our boat. It was okay. Pretty crazy. Lots of pretty boats.
trips. We're getting out of the way. So we're cruising. Um, going through the channel uh, again at the moment. And we had ships on both sides, of course. Um, we did have to alter our course to get behind this one. Um, just the angles were coming through are pretty steep to the shipping lane. And I wanted to, I had to kind of turn backwards a little bit just to let this guy know that for sure I was going to pass behind him. But now we can readjust our course and our speed. Cruise it along back to the Ventura Harbor. There's like 15 miles to go and the sun's uh, back out. The wind is up. Of course, it's like 20 knots right on the nose. Uh, but we're gonna beat up for a little bit because we just had lunch, feel a little re-energized. So we got full main and a partially uh, furled Genoa. Give the old engine a break. And uh, we got plenty of daylight left. So we're gonna sail for a little bit, crack open a beer and enjoy it. So these aren't motoring pants, for these things are sailing pants, so. <laughs> stretch, motors off, uh, sailing, and we're doing. Six, seven, six, eight. Yeah, we're just cruising in. It's nice to finish under sail. We're uh, what, 11 hours in 
Yeah, I think 11, 11. hours. We'll finish hour? around 12 hours. 10 hours? No, because we left at 6. 30, yeah. Yeah, so maybe 11, 12 hours total. Um, not so bad. And yeah, we'll have a nice little sunset sail to finish her off and get back on the dock. And 